What a day to be an Avatar fan as it seems like the information for the way of water just keeps on coming. Avatar Theory here, hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day. And in this video, I want to go over a bunch of new images that was revealed from the visual dictionary of Avatar The Way of Water. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Pyacan on the Avatar Reddit thread who initially posted this link. It does come from a German avatar or German Amazon, excuse me, German Amazon site. So this time it's a different Amazon site that kind of like posted these pictures. I don't know if it's been leaked or ahead of time, but regardless, I do want to go over the images and information that was posted. It is quite a bit of information. And again, I do want to give a minor spoiler warning as a lot of this information has not yet been revealed. And a lot of this is the first time I'm going to go over these images. So the way I want to go over these images is on the Amazon site itself because it, it does enhance, you know, if you click on the, the image itself, it does kind of enhance the image and you can read a little bit better. So apologies if you hear some clicking in the background. I do have a bit of a loud mouse. I do need a new mouse, but that is a different story for another time. So looking at the first image, it says Avatar the Visual or Avatar the Way of Water, the Visual Dictionary. Something we've seen already, I've already spoken about this cover previously where we see the Tolkien there, we see uh, Natiri there, we see Netaim, we see the Pandorian fruit basket, we see a beautiful image of Jake right in the center. We see the Skimwing, the Hex bot heavy, we see this fantastically designed crab suit, we see Renal, we see the combat knife and that is that is all for the cover. Now there's another image which gives us just a, a side view. So you can see basically the side view of this book. It just says Avatar the Way of Water there on the side. And it be I believe it looks like Natiri there on the side. Now onto the back cover of this book. Here is a bunch of new things that's not yet been revealed that we don't know yet. And this is just super exciting. I'm really, really excited to just uh, see this information and there you can see it says uh, sea wasp which is a brand new uh, vehicle that we've not yet seen before i do believe there is a toy of this that i've not i've seen pictures of this mcfarland toy so the toy itself does give a little bit of description of as to what this vehicle is but I do know it relates to uh, Tolkien hunting basically or, or something like that, scouting for Tolkien's or something like that. But I don't know too much else about it, but I do love the design of this, this vehicle itself. I do love the, the twin propellers on each side. I do love the missiles. I do love the yellow. I really love, I always liked the design of the RDA tech, but this time around, I really, really love the design of the RDA tech. And here you can see a new character, a brand new Reek. I do believe it's a Recom. At the bottom it says Recom. You can see there it has tattoos on the on his hands there. It almost looks like a like a what do you call those things? The knuckle uh, knuckle buster, I believe it's called. I'm not entirely sure what those are called, but you you put it in your hand and then you can punch somebody basically with it. So that is a tattoo there on both of his arms. He has interesting, very, very interesting tattoos, and then he has green scissors and he has it looks like Project Phoenix probably is what's written in the center of the chest and then you can see some tattoos around the, the neck area and then um, again I don't know who this character is I don't know which actor plays this character but definitely a new character uh, a recom that we've not yet seen now going on to the text in the center it just says quote produced in, col in close collaboration with the filmmakers this is the definitive guide to Avatar The Way of Water, the astonishing sequel to James Cameron's Avatar. And then it just says, see the beautiful na uh, natural landscapes of Pandora, the Sully family, RDA vehicles, sea dragon, and Kestrel gunship, the majestic Tolkien creatures. Explore the Medkaina village, the Omitakai clan's high camp, RDA's base bridgehead, and much more. Forward by Sigourney Weaver. Interesting, very, very curious. I love it when when actors basically contribute to, to stuff like this. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm speeding through a lot of stuff or if I sound a very, um, not high pitch, but just I'm just very excited to go through this. So here you have some uh, trank darts probably to take out some of the creatures, some of the Navi. Here you have a rugged field pad. Uh, interesting, interesting audio, probably like a, just a basically scanner. And here you have, speaking of scanners, you have a SATCOM case 
also probably used by the recom so you can see by their design their their outfit they probably use a lot of this tech and here is an ilu we've seen this ilu before um probably gonna get a lot more detailed information about this here's an armband a very beautiful looking armband and here is a hexapede toy i would love to have one of these toys on my desk to be honest really love the design of this um Curious to see what's what case they're going to be used. Probably for the for the children or the babies, the the Navi children, the babies are probably going to be it's probably going to be given to them. And that is the look at the back of the book. But now we're going to jump into one of the one of the creatures. Basically, is the skim wing. So here you have quite a bit of detailed information about the skim wing. You can see the the side view there. You have the back view. You have the front view, and this, of course. The image that we see in the in the teaser trailer at the end where we see Jake on top of the skim wing. In one teaser trailer he has the gun and the other one he has the uh, spear. So looking at the text itself first it says quote called to rock by the Navi. Skim wings are large powerful Pandorian flying fish. The skim wing is a lo uh, long fish excuse me let me repeat that. The skim wing is a long fish. It uses gills while underwater but breathes air through two nostrils on top of its head during sustained flights. The air is exhaled through the gill covers. When skimming underwater, when skimming, when swimming, excuse me, when swimming underwater, they fold back their pectoral wings for streamlining. Aided by Pandora's low gravity and high air density, they can launch themselves out of the water, flying in ground effect to gain extra lift like a gliding pelican. Unlike a pelican and more like the, the, the much smaller flying fish on Earth, skim wings get cont uh, continuous propulsion from their long tails, which remains in contact with the water and can travel for hours at a cruise speed of 35 knots or 40 miles or per hour or 65 kilometers per hour. The reef people mount these animals to hunt for larger prey at the surface or to dive deeper and warriors ride them to battle, much like we see uh, Jake here in this picture at the end of the teaser trailer and it does say there atop a skim wing Jake is ready to fight the RDA's forces. These flying fish are difficult to tame and ride and are for strong and advanced riders only. So definitely not something you would see a teenager or a young um, Midkaina warrior ride because it does say you know uh, difficult to ride and more for strong and advanced riders so looking at the top there it just says front view you can see a beautiful looking skim wing you can see there's the back view rear view it says vertebrae extend to the lower portion of the uh, codon fin codal fin excuse me and it just says uh, bonding with the navi uh, Turak do not always bond for life with an individual Navi rider as Ikran do, but they are very picky who rides, so, so they're very picky essentially, so if they don't bond for life but they're very very picky, interesting, interesting. Unless a bond of understanding is formed, the Turak may not return from its solo feeding forays, it typically hunts in larger territory. Turak are high maintenance mount and require a lot of bond time to remain loyal and return to the village. They are best suited to strong young riders. So interesting that they say that it's not for uh, it is for more advanced riders, but they say here for strong young riders. So I'm guessing. Well, they, they do say strong, so you know you have to be experienced and strong, I guess. But it continues to say young riders who hunt big game or are on defense patrols as outriders, defending the lagoon from incursions by major pelagic predators. So these are, uh, like they say, used for defending and, and patrolling. So I really do love the design of this creature. You can see there it has this sharp, um, sharp teeth in the front, this long nose, and I just love the color. It's just like, you can see there the orange and the, the slight blue-green kind of and the blacks going to the middle there. I do really, really love this and it, there it says um, gill slits behind the uh, spiracle openings allow breathing underwater. Inside the body, um, basically, so this is there where they, where they, this area here is where they breathe and it says um, small pectoral fins occasionally skim water surface providing stabilization and balance while Turak is in ground effect. So it says their wings, their wings collapse and tuck against the body with while un swimming underwater. So basically, as as you remember from the teaser trailer at the end, there you can see, you remember they their wings kind of like opened up. So 
as they're swimming underwater, their wings kind of collapse. So quite a lot of information and you can see the Navi name is uh, Turak and human name is Skimwing and their size is about 14.6 meters and their lifespan is 20 years. So not too, too old, not too young, basically the lifespan of an average pet of a, of a house dog or house cat, you know, their lifespan is average about 20 years. So that is basically the lifespan of this creature. So surprisingly young, uh, so short life for such a creature, but again, I do wonder what kind of, um, what kind of bond they will form if it's more of a, just used as a, as a transport means, or will they actually have like more an emotional bond with the Navi? So definitely quite a bit of information about the skim wing from this, this page itself. Now moving on to the page that has uh, Tonawari, there is a lot of information. You can see there's a lot of information on just this page. Not only do we have a new look on Tonawari, but we have some some images on his outfit, some images on, on his, his weapons, and just a lot of information about the tattoos, about himself. So zooming in, I'm gonna look at the pictures first, because of course, when you open a book, you wanna look at the pictures first. So. Here you can see again a beautiful stunning look of his braided hair, um, his symbolic tattoos showcasing life events. So that is interesting. I didn't know that. That is uh, something I'll definitely new that, that their tattoos is based on their life events. Uh, and this is a, a Kula tooth man mantle. So I'm not really sure what a Kula in, in a Kula is. We have yet to, to find that out. But uh, definitely probably showing uh, it's some sort of Maybe some sort of proud thing if you if you either hunt in a Kula or something like that. If you maybe if you ride in a Kula, I don't. I again, I don't know what an Kula is yet. But here you can see he is, has this a beautiful, stunning-looking design there, going down to his bottom shorts. And here is his knife worn at hip for ease in unsheathing for battle or hunting. Now the knife is here. What's interesting, what I what I was curious about the knife is the type of of material they use. It says here serrated tooth pattern modeled after Ukula teeth. So the Metkaina blades, the knives of the Metkaina are made from super hard obsidian sea stone. Excuse me, my mouth my mouse went a little bit sideways there. So obsidian sea stone, that is something interesting. That is something I didn't know was in the in the oceans of Pandora. That is something new to me. So that might be something the RDA is trying to find, something the RDA is trying to basically um, harvest. And that is why they're fighting the Metkana clan. That is likely the same material that his spear is made of. It looks like a, almost like a glass, almost like a, this frost kind of metal. So this crystalline weapons are hard enough to cut through the thickest fronts of, of seagrass and sharp and uh, delicate enough to peel the thinnest layer of skin from a fish. So immediately when I saw this, it kind of reminded me of the glass armor and weapons from Skyrim. If you ever remember those, those were kind of more green, but regardless, um, quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of information from this, this, it's this, just this little few pages that was, that was uh, revealed. So here you can see a small, a small shell totem from Grinnell could sing volumes about. This is a song chord. There you can see some of his uh, highly colorful braided knots and ropes. And then you can see also a beautiful image of Tonawari. You can see his paddle-like forearms, his paddle-like hands and his tail as well. And looking at the, at what next? Basically, the these two areas where it says proud, powerful, and respected by his people, Tonawari is the Ole Aiktan of the Metkaina clan. He performs the same role as Jake Sully does for the Ometakaya clan, overseeing the secular well-being of his community. Tonawari exudes a fierce demeanor, and his clan respects him for his ideals and his ability to lead them through times of great challenge. Supported by his wife. Tahi Kronal, he makes the difficult decision to provide Utura or Sanctuary to the Sully family, wrestling with the repercussions of what that choice ultimately means for his family and the Metkaina. Now as for the Metkaina ta tattoos, it's quite a bit of information if you want to pause the video here. I'm going to read all of the smaller details on my own because there's quite a lot of information that I can uh, gather from these images and these 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 texts. And it, if I go through everything now, it's going to take quite a while. So I basically just wanted to do like an overview of some of the stuff that's 
that's new here. But speaking of new and one of my favorite new parts of that was revealed by Amazon is this image right here, which shows Bridgehead satellite map. Now, as you can see, there is a ton to take away from here. And again, I will need to go through this on my own to really see what I can find. But you can see there's kill zone, defensive land wall, land gate west, industrial periphery. You can see their flood control dam, river gate, north side industrial zone, land gate north, industrial harbor, uh, marina, airfield, admin zone. It doesn't seem like the RDA is uh, <laughs> planning to leave Pandora anytime soon. You can see they have a massive, 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 massive base. You can see that it goes all around here. They have massive wall. They have these land walls, as it says. They have the gate there. They have the housing zone where the people probably live. They have the the, their HQ, they have defensive seawall on the sides there, which we're gonna probably see a massive battle at the end there, the marine kill zone. Very, very interesting to see marine kill zone and uh, the kill zone at the top there, and at the bottom there it just says uh, the kill zone. Bridgehead requires protective protection from Jake's warriors and other Navi, as well as Moon's wildlife. Protecting Bridgehead in his regard is the kill zone, a strip of bare earth two miles wide between the city wall and the natural tree line. Regularly treated with herbicides and defended with automated weapons, this strip of death that was once a forest keeps Awa and her vast networks of sensors and fangs in the flora and fauna of Pandora's at arm's length. So very, very, very interesting. We're probably going to see quite a lot of uh, killing all, all on Pandora, the creatures and just everything. You can see there the destruction there at the top there. And um, like I said, if you want to pause the video here and read it on yourself, you can do that or just follow the link in the description where you can check out the, the images for yourself. I'm going to go through all of this by myself, by, by my own and see what I can find here. You can see also a, a stunning image of, of of Bridgehead, which is which we briefly saw in the teaser trailer, and at the bottom there you can see a fact file and a city of a thousand cranes. Um, basically, just yeah, there's a lot to digest from just this image alone. You can see there, Bridgehead is massive, much much bigger than I expected. I didn't expect it to be. I expected the RDS base to be large, but I didn't expect it to be this massive. It is quite quite a sizable area. If you just look at this, you can see there it is really really large and it just uh yeah it, they came back with 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 uh with vengeance basically <laughs> and uh it's gonna be very hard to see uh jake tackle this base i mean there's gonna be a lot of marine battle you, you can get the top area and you can get the bottom area you see there there's a seagate north and there's a seagate south so i wonder if we're gonna see i wonder what that little craft there is that's one of the crabs or one of the the new rda weapons or vehicles excuse me I do wonder if Jake is going to basically coordinate an attack there from the north and uh, south gate, if there's going to be flanking involved and if it's going to be, maybe maybe the Midkana clan is going to attack on the ocean and then uh, the Ometakai is going to attack on the land. Maybe they're going to do a coordinated attack like that. That is the only way that I can see them really taking on uh, Bridgehead if they really want a chance to, 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 to survive, to win this battle. But looking onto the final image that was posted on Amazon uh, was this one right here, which again provides us with a ton of information of the RDA alone, and that is focused on the recoms. So here, not only do we have a lot of recom weapons, but we have a lot of recom characters. Again, if you don't want to see this, then do click away now, but I'm going to zoom in and it just says the recoms are equipped to achieve their mission by any means necessary and to ensure the RDA's advancement and its military goal to retake Pandora in order to provide a new home for humanity. The RDA believes that every living being in Pandora wants to repulse it and the recoms must be aware of the fact that every second of every must be aware of that fact of every second of every day. Their mission is facilitated by a range of tools and artillery that aids them in all scenarios. So here you have a recon breather, which is interesting because I'm guessing that's for, uh, it says supplementary carbon dioxide is critical for the operation of recon personnel inside human air facilities. Development of a compact breather system allows recoms to sip carbon dioxide every two minutes or two. Interesting, very, very interesting. I didn't know 
that they needed one of those if they want to be in a human air facility. That's very, very interesting. And here you just have a frag grenade, different frag grenades, and then you have a recom ID tag, and here you have the recom team badge. And then here you have a bunch of recom characters with names. I do wonder which one is Vin Diesel, <laughs> if Vin Diesel is going to be in uh, uh, Avatar 2. But looking at the left to right, you have Alexander, which is the person we saw at the back of the, the book. You have uh, Zhang, then you have uh, Prager, Walker, Mansk. Again, all of these characters, I don't know who the actors are portraying them. Then you have uh, Fike or, or, or Fike, maybe. Then you have the next few, which is, uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I'm going to take a guess here. You have Zin, uh, uh, Zin Darsks, maybe? That's, I th I'm just taking a wild guess there. Then you have Warren, you have Brown, and then you have Lopez. And then here it just says uh, Recom Units. Regarded as the RDS muscle, the Recom Unit is a special forces operation that takes orders from the top and assists in any extraordinary circumstances. These well-trained soldiers toe the line and are respectful of the chain of command, following uh, tactics that they are told will keep them alive beyond the perimeter. But it's going to make to take more than guns and manpower to subdue the Pandoran rainforest, and their survival may depend on how much they are able to adapt in the field. Interesting information. They, I mean, that's quite a nice looking gun there. Um, here you can see some of the knives. I believe we saw one of the knives in the cover. Here you see one of the machine guns, and there you have a pistol. And there you have um, some bullets, and then you have here's a high part pistol. And here you have the throat comms, which we've seen quite a bit, and then you have the hydration pack. So, quite a bit of information to 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 gather just from these few of these four pages that was posted, these four or five pages that was posted on Amazon uh, on Amazon's uh, site. Because uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to pause the video at any time to read some of the text, then please do because I'm like I said, I'm gonna go through all of this by myself. The recoms about Tonawari, about especially about Bridget, because there is, is a lot of information just to gather from this image alone. Just of all the locations, just figuring out what is where, and just looking at all of this text and trying to, to gather what we know based on the information that was provided to us right now. So, uh, like I said, this is a bit of a lengthy video so far, but if I had to go through all of it, then it would be even longer. So. Feel free, like I said, to go back, pause the video where you want to read some of the text. And again, if you want to read all of this on your own, the link to this website is in the description below. Hopefully Amazon won't take down the the, the pictures because that would be a real bummer. But if you do want to go there, save the pictures before they take it down. Um, as as it's say the the art book, the visual dictionary, and the art book, which also provided some inf some pictures earlier today, will be released on the 16th of December. But with all that said, let me know in the comments below what you are most excited about based on all of this, all of this information that was just uh, just revealed. It is just quite a day to be an Avatar fan. But let me know in the comments below what you think of all of this: the recoms, Bridgehead, the Skimwing, Tonawari, all of the information that was revealed, all of the characters, all of the recom characters. It seems like the RDA is gonna be quite powerful this time around. They were really powerful. But it seems like this time around they're going to be quite a force to be reckoned with. But let me know in the comments below and for more Avatar content, have a look at the rest of my channel. Until next time, have a fantastic day and stay safe.